All right, so let's take a look at a bunch of different ways you can use to get the name of the computer that you're on using PowerShell. So first, we've got a really old school method, just the host name command. And there you can see it outputs the name of my computer, which is just Mobile Wolf. And the cool thing about host name is that we can run it in the command prompt as well. So if you remember one command, you can use it in multiple places. Same output, brilliant. So another method we can use is using .NET, and this is PowerShell specific. So the system.net.dns class does have the get hostname method here on line five, and it doesn't take any parameters. And there you can see it returns the name of my computer, Mobile Wolf. And then line seven, the get host by name method also will return the name of the local computer if you pass it null as a parameter. And it also returns some additional information about some of the addresses as well but we're, we're worried just about the host name. So we'll line nine, we'll reference that property specifically. There we go, same output as before. So the next methods is using environment variables. So line 12, the EMV variable in PowerShell is an automatic variable that references user or process scoped environment variables. So if we run line 12, this is gonna return the name of the computer that I'm on. But if for some reason you need to access the machine scoped environment variable, line 15, this is how you would do that. And in this case, the machine name is the name of the computer. And there, Mobile Wolf. <laughs> We're getting a lot of those. <laughs> so using WMI, we can also do this as well. We're gonna use a get sim instance commandlet, referencing the Win32 computer system class. And this one, out of all the options we looked at, this is gonna have the most overhead, though you notice it's not that much more. Uh, but that's because we were returning a lot of additional information as well. But line 20, we can also get reference the name property specifically. So if we wanna do this remotely, this all works using invoke command. So I'm gonna copy this line 23 and use it in my Active Directory environment. And this is just gonna run the git host name on the remote computer called sub CA1. There you go, you see the output right there. Exactly what we'd expect. And we can also do the same thing uh, with WMI. So git sim instance, but referencing a remote computer name. And there you can see this returns all the Win32 computer class stuff that we would expect. And if you're in an environment where you need to use authentication, you can do that. So here, we're gonna pass a credential to the dollar sign credential variable. We're gonna build a sim session on line 32. Then line 35, we're gonna utilize that session to get the remote host name. And there you can see it returns the name of the remote computer. It's brilliant, it works, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. And remember, since you're using PowerShell, you could loop through an entire network and get all the names like this if you wanted. There's a lot of things that you could do with this. But anyway, that's how you can use PowerShell to get the name of the computer. Thanks for watching.